people who can't afford it. I don't hurt people that don't deserve it. So relax. I'm no better than you. You're no better than me. If I say I'll do something, I'll do it. You say you'll do something and you don't. Make sure you regret it.
towards the hay bales behind the livestock pavilion, away from the midway. You know what? There is some trouble, so I improvise. Big fucking deal. Ah! Someone gets hurt, cops come after us. That's the big fucking deal. Motherfucker! It's a behind the livestock pavilion.
Did he say anything to you? Not really. Nope. That looks like a man's shoe up there. That looks like blood.
start a new job in the morning.
said me. Wait here. Parker, he knows we're here. The ambush 
punched my brother, he tried to kill him. Parker's dead. You got out of the SUV and you shot him. Right? Yes. I fucking shot him. You, 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 ah, I fucking, he was dead when I was fucking with him, I swear to God. We need five men for the gig. We can get by with four. Don't work with three. Fuck.
No, you don't understand. I need my car for work. If you repossess my car, I can't pay you. Please, just, just give me another week. Great. Thank, thank you. Next week at the latest.
I waste 20 cents on a dollar. Fifty million dollar score. Yeah. So we're in Palm Beach. Oh no, no, Parker. I'm telling you, Bobby was lying. Not Palm Beach. Look, the problem is not the score. The problem is Palm Beach. Nobody does business there. There's a cop to every eight residents, drawbridges. They can shut the island down like that. You're trapped. This state pen is full of lightweights that have tried it. You know Melanda? Is he a lightweight? No, Melanda's not a lightweight. But it doesn't matter. Listen, I got a call from Danzinger. And for whatever the reason, they want it to go down without a hitch. So they sent me this to give it to you. This is your Ohio share, plus 10 points. Take it, go somewhere with Claire. Well, keep your money. Who are you kidding, Hurley? Chicago doesn't pay to keep people out of their way. For Christ's sake, Parker, Dan Jr. is a fucking savage. He sent an assassin to your home. He almost killed my daughter. I'm just trying to help you. I don't want it from you. I want it from them. It's the principal. Principal? You don't want to get yourself killed over principle. Me? Claire? Is that what the fuck you want? You almost start on a plane runway. If it's gonna happen, it'll happen. It's not something you can control. When I enter an agreement with someone, terms on both sides have to be on it. If they're not and I allow that, I'm asking chaos to take control of my life. Nobody likes chaos. Yeah, yeah. no one likes chaos. Hey, look, what if... What if you had a place in Palm Beach to sit things out? Nah, nah, cops would be all over rentals. Nah, no, rental. What if you... What if you bought a house? Palm Partners, how may I help you? Hey, no, well, any messages? All right, I will transfer you to Mr. Samson. Why do you even read the society pages? It's not like you could ever go to one of those parties. Look, a normal couple gets divorced, they need two houses instead of one. A rich couple gets divorced, they need four houses instead of two. I don't know what you're worried about. It took me two years to get my first commission. Even then, it's only a quarter share. You know, I would have had my first if Jameson hadn't swooped in. Good morning, ladies. If I don't sell something soon, I'm screwed. Amber picked up a cold call from some rich-ass Texan looking to buy his third vacation home. I've been answering the phone for three weeks and nothing. They are great clients. All cash. What's Amber's line? Twelve. Hello? <laughs> yes. Um, excuse me one minute, sir. Thank you. No problem. Absolutely. I'll let her know. to close on Edgewater right away. Said he's gonna be flying in at noon. Oh, his phone died. Well, I was on the phone with him. If you want, I can go take care of that for you right away. Oh, that's so sweet of you. But no. One, one, at a price of- Noel, excuse me one moment. Call Mr. Parman at the Boca Resort and tell him that I'll call him later to reschedule. Of course. Sorry about that. Again, the price was $1,155, an item 8000 at a cost of $2,353.20. I can't believe you just stole her client. There's nothing wrong with me stealing now and then. They do it to us all the time. Somebody, and we're 
rich winds up in Palm Beach. I mean, more billionaires per square foot than anywhere else. Palm Beach is about style, community. You know, it's, 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 it's not about money at all. Of course not. Where do you live now? I got a place in Bell, on South Padre Island, one lane. Yeah. I'd like to see a few more areas before zeroing in on one. You have time tomorrow? Sure, yeah, I have all the time you need to zero in on anything you want. I'll pick you up at your office at 10. I'll never remember my way around unless I do the driving. Tex! Can I drop you somewhere? No thanks. I'm good. Where to? Lake Okeechobee, please. Yes, sir. Take Highway 441 to Pelham. They're all antique and they could be available for, you know, for the right price. So, married? Once. She passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. What about you? What does your husband do? Oh, divorced. Eleven months. He was a salesman. Sold me. The whole dream. I thought he was something. His Ferrari was rented. Well, where's the wood stolen? Well, he declared bankruptcy before the divorce. No. I get to help him pay off his debt while he lives there in Key West with his new girlfriend. My new mean girl. This one right over here, this has been on the market for about a year for about 27.5. But if you make it over now, you could probably get it for about 19.5-ish. This is obviously more of a neighborhood. Right here with the screen of palm trees. This house sold about two months ago for 1.2 million. Mr. Rodrigo says he wants to renovate. Can you believe it? It's obviously a teardown. Mr. Rodrigo? Yeah. Amber sold it to him. Yeah, I think he said he's from Texas too. I'll have to meet him someday. You know, the one nice thing about it is the intercoastals right down here wraps right around the house. It's really beautiful. See what I mean? The intercoastal white is out here. So you live in San Antonio your whole life? Yeah. Since I was about three. Tell the truth, I was born in Ecuador. My folks were both in the old business down there. Ecuador? Really? That's what it says on my birth certificate. Hola, Leslie. Hola, Julio. ¿Cómo estás? I was in the management training program here before I got married. I could have got you a great discounted room rate, say, uh, 11 years ago. <laughs> you know, you mind if I hold on a 
police for executing my bank or so you know, ahead of time what I'm getting into. Uh, sure, I mean, they're all sold. I just wind up tossing them anyway. Yeah, my card, too. Mr. Parman? Uh, Daniel? <laughs> um, I know that you're in town alone, so if you'd like, we can go over more places, uh, say over dinner or just drinks. That is so kind. But I'm afraid I have other plans. I'll be in touch. channel always on? I pay for it. I pay every minute. I heard that. I heard that too.
If he's in town, we can't risk him getting any of us alone. We have to... My uncle sent his leave. best guy to take care of Parker. Mr. Dan Zinger is going to be very disappointed you haven't seen Parker. This is my friend. I keep telling you. I don't know anybody named Parker. All right? Nice new carpet. Five years, and I'm 
I'm stuck with my mom. Doesn't look like she's gonna kick off anytime soon. I'm sick of chauffeuring these fucking entitled wannabe playboys who've never worked a day in their life. Showing them houses that I could never afford. Laughing at their jokes that I can't stand. All while fending off their gropes. But not all their gropes. Cause you never know, one of these days I just might get a full commission. So if you're gonna kill me, go ahead. I live with a snapshot of my future and nobody's gonna know, nobody's gonna care. But if you're not, I can help you. Help me? People in Palm Beach are sharp, very sharp. And people like you only come down here for one reason, money. And I don't know what you're into, kidnapping, extortion, robbery, but whatever it is, you're gonna need somebody who knows the territory. Or you're gonna Caught. Take off your clothes. What? I'm not sure if I'm better off with you alive or dead. Either way, I have to know if you were in a while. you're forgetting to ask and all I'm asking is for you to give me a small piece so I can get the hell out of here turn around what turn around Find Rodrigo, you had to play that roundabout game with me, and all it did was make me suspicious. I mean, how many people do you want asking questions about you? But yeah. Glasses look up before you leave. I'll think about it. Hey, Lionel, what do you say? I got something for you, Jones. Don't blow it all on the ponies again. Tell me what you got. I want to know every last detail. Let's leave. Okay, last chance. All this right here could be yours for one low price. Hey, what's the matter? Nothing. I bought a lottery ticket two days ago and... I don't think it's gonna pay off. Leslie, what'd you do that for? Those things are waste. So 
nothing to do, Leslie. You're hard to read. No, really. Let's just stick to business. Here's the deal. Don't ask me any questions because I'm only going to tell you what I want to tell you. The man who calls himself Rodrigo took something from me. It's in business with three other men. They're here for a robbery and they're going to use their house to lay low when they're done. So, you let them steal something. You steal it from them. I help you. And I get a commission. said that, Leslie, you did. Civilized people need to follow rules. I'm just gonna put things right. Where are they gonna hit? I thought that was something you could tell me. You don't know? <laughs> well, when are they doing it? I don't know that either. But it's jewelry. None of the stores I've checked have the inventory. How large? 50 to 75 million. Mrs. Clendon's jewels? Are you fucking kidding me? Forget it. They are going to get caught or killed. And so are you if you're anywhere near them. Leslie! You call me? lady of Palm Beach Society. She had more diamonds than Elizabeth Taylor. And when she died, she left the entire estate to Palm Beach. They're auctioning off her $75 million jewelry collection right here tomorrow night. What's behind that? Uh, 30 acres, a golf course, pool, tennis courts, two ballrooms. And it's one of the only houses that's on the ocean and the intercoastal. Hey, miss. This is private property. Oh, sorry, guys. Just taking in the sights. No, no, no. That's too much white. Take them away and bring back some pink roses. And just what is this now? Speakers for the auctioneer. Small ballroom. Round to the right. Okay, Linda, you cover the left side, Robert, the right. Report all panel numbers to Barry. You will be standing next to me. <clears throat> what do you want, these? Put speakers in the corners. Uh, Barry, excuse me, ma'am, would you... Go get the gear. I'll meet you by the basement. Mm -hmm. Stash that shit by the exit. Hurry up. So, he been in jail? Some dance what human beings do, so we invented locks. You think the people in these houses feel bad? The grandparents and their great grandparents, they're the ones who got their hands dirty. I just mean, how do you sleep at night? I don't drink coffee after seven. This is the back entrance. Yes. Stand at the breakers. What's going on? Out. Out. Wait a minute. Okay, like, what's the plan? What do I wear? Do I wear black? What are we doing? Go to your office. I'll handle this. This is getting old, you know. Welcome back to the Volcom, Mr. Barbie. Keep your handy, Carlos.
Always tracking in God knows what from who knows freaking where. in his room with the uh, fellow the fellow went over the balcony and he's dead now and they lied to the victim that's crazy what, what about mr parman uh, i assume mr parman was hurt pretty bad he ran out of the hotel stole a car and no one's seen him since well i guess i can kiss that commission goodbye they found your business card in his room you realize how uh, dangerous this business can be for a woman. I mean, I was in places all alone with him. I mean, he could have killed me. That's why it might be good if you started thinking about not being alone anymore.
going to call a taxi or leave my car? Phone a call. You're good at that. Well, I didn't think you'd stay. I know. Will you wait for me at the fish camp? I've left a bag with his clothes and some amoxicillin in it. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking such good care of him. Oh, please, it was nothing. Please, please. Thank you. Bye. Come back to see me. Talk to me. Good to go. One, let's go. 
there a fire? Yes, there is a fire. The fire department's there. They're taking care of it.
torture. No, it's not fucking torture. You're being paranoid. Again. He sent her in. He's out there somewhere. I don't know anybody. Find him. You're a fucking hole. Shut up. Parker's got to be hurting bad. He leaked the whole gallon of blood up in that hotel. The news that he could barely walk. That motherfucker's a rock, man. That night, my son is a fucking bitch. Where is he? Where the fuck is he? Tell me where he is, or I'll shoot you in the fucking face. I don't know. Where is he? Tell me where the fuck he is. Fuck him up. You want every cop in the fucking world here? All right, get the fuck off of me. What the fuck are you doing? 
big jar. Oh my God. You understand? Go ahead. I will shoot her. Oh Shut the fuck up. I will shoot her in the fucking head. Go ahead. Gonna give him 20 cents on the dollar, I'll give you 40. It's not about money.